Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Death's Gambit. I almost feel bad talking over this beautiful intro music, but it has to be done. So, uh, in case you're not familiar, this is a side-scrolling 2D uh, action platformer with RPG elements. Also, many of the elements that you might be familiar from, uh, familiar with from the Souls games. In other words, uh, you could consider it, or you could describe it as a Souls-like. Even though I know many people, for whatever reason, uh, don't like that that word or categorizing games as such, but I think it gets the job done very efficiently. I could go into much detail explaining uh, all of the different mechanics um, that we will be seeing shortly in the actual game, uh, but saying that it is a 2D Souls-like pretty much hits the spot in this case. Uh, it's um, it's very similar in many ways to another game from a while ago that you might also be familiar with uh, called Salt and Sanctuary. I actually also did a Let's Play on that a while ago. Uh, this came out in, I think, August? Yeah, August 2018. So it's a, a few months old at this point. Um, as usual, I have uh, deliberately avoided any, any additional information on this game, so I can go into this as blindly as possible. I was sold on it basically as soon as I saw the first couple of screenshots, and, that, and that's all I saw. Uh, as you can see, as you can probably already tell from this screen here, the pixel art is absolutely gorgeous, and I can already say that it's uh, it's not going to disappoint in that regard. I was also very pleasantly surprised by the soundtrack. I mean, uh, the first time I boost, booted up this game, uh, I just sat here and listened to this intro music a couple of times over. It's just uh, so beautiful. Um, yeah, that was a really pleasant surprise, obviously. That's not something I was able to tell from screenshots alone. Now, um, as you will see, I guess I'm gonna jump into new game. I hope audio levels are gonna be fine. It was really loud when I first started. Um, I think we should be okay. Um, we'll see. Uh, the intro music here is louder than any music in-game, so even this, if this seems a bit loud, um, it should be better once we actually start playing. So, uh, you see, I already have a, uh, a, a save file here. I'm gonna overwrite that. Um, at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to just play this on my own time or make a Let's Play. And I was going back and forth um, and started playing a little bit. Uh, but I only played um, the first area. I never left the first area, so I've really only seen um, probably a small fraction of the game. I beat the first boss and that's it. Uh, so, this is going to be, for all intents and purposes, a blind let's play, except that I'm already somewhat familiar with, uh, you know, basic gameplay, which should only be, uh, um, you know, helpful. Now, um, already, I mean, if you're familiar with the Souls games, this is uh, already uh, obviously inspired by it, which is a great thing, don't get me wrong. Um, when I say Souls-like, that's obviously high praise, um, and... Uh, yeah, I, if anything, I wish there were many, many more Souls-like games. Especially if we're not actually getting any more Souls games from FromSoft themselves. So, yeah, um, bring them on, I say. Anyway, uh, we can select a class here. And from what I have played so far, this is just like Souls. Uh, it does determine your starting equipment and, and attributes, but you can develop your character freely from there. So this is really just going to determine the early game. Anyway, um, well, okay, no, not, not entirely. Uh, there is an additional element here. Um, every character comes with a skill tree, and that seems to be... Actually, I have not really explored that, um, but I highly suspect that uh, those will differ between different classes, so there might actually be more of, a, of an impact on class choice here than in the uh, Souls games also. Let me start my timer. Of course I forgot. Okay, there we go. Now, um, as you may have seen, my first character was an assassin. And um, it's fun to play. It's very... Uh, I especially like the idea of dodging to gain additional resource. So, uh, of course, um, I know a couple more things now than when I first started this character. So, uh, when it says here, um, good all-round fighter, blocking attacks gives you soul energy to use for abilities. Uh, or for the assassin, it says dodging attacks gives you soul energy. Um, of course, I didn't know whether those would be the only sources. Uh, for example, for the Blood Knight, it doesn't say anything about gaining soul energy at all. Wizard uh, gains soul energy for using the 
Healing Phoenix Feather. Uh, I mean, I I kind of guessed that it would probably be the equivalent to an Estus Flask or Blood Vials or whatever. You know, you know, your uh, refilling healing item. Are, although I guess Blood Vials aren't a good good example for that. But, so it's really more like Estus Flasks in that regard. Um, which you know seems to limit the availability of soul energy for the wizard. Um, noble. Uh, similarly, using items gives you soul energy. Sentinel can basically use any weapons with only half the required stats, so that seems pretty cool. Although, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really want to be a super all-round fighter. Uh, like that seems seems worse than just than actually specializing in anything. Um, Noble might be cool, but then again, I don't know. I'm I'm not really sold on this using consumables to give you extra resources. Um, the Acolyte of Death sounds cool too. Uh, killing enemies gives you soul energy. So yeah, basically, when I first started out, I I wasn't sure how this worked. Now I know that you actually do gain soul energy just for attacking. Um, at least I'm, I think that's how it works. So every character has access to soul energy. Just some classes, most classes, get uh, extra sources for that. And I, I went with Assassin because I typically prefer dodging attacks to blocking. Um, also, you know, the soldier is like the... It seems it seems like the lamest choice. Uh, a little bit, you know, um, of your of your beginner character, uh, sword and board. And it seems a little seemed a little bit too boring to actually go with assassin. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, fast attacks, um, very mobile, uh, dodging and all that. But uh, I have noticed that um, you do have a very short attack range, so you really need to get super up and up close and personal with your enemies. Which with some bosses can be can be tricky. Um, Blood Knight might be cool. Uh, this he basically has this um, rally mechanic from Bloodborne, where you can you know attack enemies to regain your health. Um, but I think I'm actually I actually want to check out this wizard. Complex range range magic. It seems like yeah um, you just have a, a spell book as a weapon. Judging by the equipment layout there, actually you can... Whoops. Um, okay, you can back out of that. Good to know. New game. Let me try that again. Oh no, we have to see that again. Okay, well, anyway. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it looks like uh, you just start with a spellbook weapon. So... And I don't remember seeing a, like a mana resource. So we'll see if, if that's uh, limited in that way at all. Um, Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can actually look at the at statistics. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, health also increases effectiveness of plumes. Right, that's nice. Uh, so uh, yeah, strength, damage of strength weapons and abilities. Uh, also uh, required to equip those weapons. Same with finesse. Endurance it determines stamina. Obviously, it's gonna be quite useful. Intelligence is uh, for spell damage. Uh, equipping spells and also ma magic resistance. So that's nice that it gives us um, a third benefit uh, for an int based character, you know. Whereas uh, strength and finesse give you extra damage and let you equip things, but uh, you know, that's it. And it also increases magic resistance. I like that. Uh, haste determines ability and, and bow cast speed. Ability and bow cast speed. So abilities, uh, I think uh, that means that refers to the things that actually use that soul energy, but I'm not sure. Um, it might also affect spells. I don't know. Uh, increased stamina regeneration rate, though. And then there's a mysterious um, additional stat which doesn't appear here. I think it's called. Uh, actually, I forget. Is it fear? Something like that. Uh, we'll see as soon as we get into the game. Actually, uh, we start with a cape. Every character starts with this cape, actually. A weathered cape donned by the enlisted soldiers of Vados. Your mother would have been proud to see you wear its color, but has it all been worth it? No idea, man. Lucent plume, healing item, 1.5 second cast item, uh, cast time. A plume from the legendary phoenix, unleashing its natural radiance as restore, restorative properties. Okay, so that is our healing item, as I've already mentioned. Uh, we got a shield, uh, and we got this casting tome, a simple spellbook. Traditionally, hand-me-downs from Master to Ward. Right. Okay. Um, and okay, we also have quick item slots, but uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, only the noble starts out with any consumables, which uh, makes sense. 
since he's uh, apparently item based. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with a wizard. Why not? It's not typically, uh, you know, spellcaster is not typically my first choice for my first character in the game. But what the heck? We also start with a with a uh, starting gift. Helm seems pretty basic. Vitality by five, I guess. Doesn't really seem to make sense lore-wise for a mage, but who knows? Spellbinder's aura. Enchanted with elemental wisps. Using abilities increases intellect by uh, two. Using abilities again. That's I think that's not just basic spell attacks. Or else it seems too good. Two for twenty-four seconds. Stacks up to ten and hmm. I mean, I guess ten intellect in the in the grand scheme is not gonna be that great. But it's, it might be pretty good early on. Shield of warding. A better shield, I guess. Assuming this is just a, sh uh, this is actually a shield. I don't know. It just said it says gift for all of them. Reduces time of negative status effects by twenty five percent. I mean, sure. I guess that's that's nice. Consumables. I'm not a huge fan of. Um, as a starting gift, crystal bombs. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are like speedrun strats where you pick the crystal bombs and are able to one shot the first boss or something like that, or you know, do some crazy skip. But uh, these are upgrade materials. Um, but you're you're gonna get all of those, you know. Um, Rusty charm locket holds a small picture of someone dear to you, but uh, otherwise doesn't seem to have an effect. I'm really tempted to get this one, just because it might actually have some kind of use, or it might be, you know, completely useless. Who knows? Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go with the aura because it seems more useful. Who knows if there is another way in the game to actually get this item? Uh, did I not... What? Oh, create soul. <laughs> right. There we go. Okay, that took a long time, but... Plain dead were you. Also, voice action. Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Oh, I, th I thought it was advancing by itself. Oh, okay. You can press more buttons than just A. That's what it is. Sorun. That's us. We don't look so good. Considering the fate of your men, I thought I'd do them a service. Hmm. By doing what? Did you kill my men? Or... Hmm. My men. They're all... Go They're all? back to Varos. You have an obligation to their families now. Huh. Okay. Weird lizard dude. Hmm. My men. They're all... Oh, back to... Okay, it's just the same. I guess his men are dead. Or my men are dead. Our men are dead. Hmm. So we used to be their commander. Let's see here. Um, I guess I'll equip this on the helm slot. Yeah, doesn't seem to do anything. Heal is equipped. Yeah, all of this is equipped. Spell tome 18 damage. Requires 8 int. Intellect scaling. Makes sense. So we just have the basic requirement for that item. Um, down there, below the stats... Oh yeah, fear. Well, it doesn't give any explanation, which... I don't know what that means, what implication that has. We have uh, shards. It says 0 out of 20. That's um, 20 is how many we need to level up. 0 is how many we have. That uh, It's the same thing that's underneath fear here on the left side. And we have 40 arrows. Which is nice. Here we have our talent tree. Actually, yeah, I've only looked at the one for the assassin, of course. Arm of Steel. Blood of the Phoenix. Achilles. Uh, nice. Weapon Master. Oh god, are they different? Soul Energy Master. Wizard's Mastery. That's definitely different. Okay, so some of them are the same. Pretty, pretty sure this is the same. And these are the same, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. But Wizard's, Wizard's Master is definitely unique to the wizard. I guess it improves your innate wizard or innate class abilities. For the for the assassin, it was something dodge-related. So that makes sense. Perfect block. Soul Trigger. I guess I'll look into these more once we actually do get uh, talent points. Journal of Immortals. That's Or Journals of Immortals. That's actually an interesting mechanic. Oh, okay. I didn't realize before that this is a... But these are all there, all there are on the screen. 
So there might only be ten bosses in this game. I don't know. I mean, that's that's fine. Um, because uh, these do seem to be connected to bosses. Although I've only seen the first entry, so uh, again, my my experience with this game is extremely limited. Um, well, okay. Let's, without further ado, let's just move on. Hello Back there. So Back. Oh, what do you mean? This this pain, like I'm burning from the inside out. Better get used to it. This contract will resurrect you in service to me. Um. Rest assured, your mind and actions will be your own. Will they though? Oh, why you mortals insist in glorifying a self-aggrandizing hoax is beyond me. So why exactly are you offering? To bring me back from death? In return, oh, you must of course. do something for me. Of course. So much for my own free will. What could I possibly do for you? Give it time. For now, just sign here. In blood, of course. Of course. As is... As is usual in this case. Death contract. Alright. Okay, now we are officially contracted... By death itself. Himself, I guess. Death contract. My contract with death. It keeps me alive until I fulfill my mission. The contract can be cancelled at any time. Indeed it can. Though it will leave me mortal. I have to be certain that's what I want. The page radiates with an ominous sensation. It's seemingly capable of crossing realms. Yeah, so you can actually uh, use this. And... Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't use it now, though. Uh, it has to be... Um... Yeah, parts of the UI will have to get uh, unlocked first. I should probably get on my horse. I guess I should. Can I ride it in this direction? I mean, yes, we can. We can also, you can also attack this uh, rail guy here. Um, but I'm not sure he's actually evil. And I don't want to, you know, screw any quest lines up or anything any future events that he might be involved in. In fact, I know for a fact that he appears later if you don't kill him. He's also not easy to kill. I did try that, of course. I had to. Um, but, yeah. Turns out he's pretty, pretty tough. Okay. Well. That bridge just, just crumbled. There's no turning back. Hello there, big guy. I, have I mentioned that I love the pixel art? Because you just jump off your mount. Right, I actually didn't even show off my my awesome weapon. Okay. So you have a combo. Casting does not take any mana because there isn't mana, but it does take stamina like any other attack. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Makes sense. Uh, there's also an air attack. Okay. And the cool thing is, you can actually use that to prolong your, your jump. Like, you can jump like this, but you can also do this and actually get something like a tiny double jump. In fact, oh, actually it might not be possible. Yeah, the thing's not gonna... Uh, thing, this deer or whatever. Looks like something out of Shadow of Colossus, like a fusion of creature with stone armor. Pretty cool. Um... Yeah, that will not come close enough to here. Press X button to attack with primary weapon. Well, forget that one, job. Press menu to open your menu. Menu. I've uh, already shot that off. Okay, we also got the first little trap here. Crown plume. Um, I think that's... It turns you to the last death idol rest of that. Okay, so basically a homeward bone to uh, use the soul's terminology here. Use horse to leap over big gaps. Well, if only I could somehow get my horse up here. Log off short bow, nice. Press right shoulder, right, to use secondary weapon. So we equip our bow as one two. And then we can do this and just, you know, casually use an arrow to, to shoot that metal chain. That seems legit. Okay, and here we can actually do something a little bit tricky and land on its back and get this leaf of Gaia. I hadn't uh, previously collected this, so I don't know 
what this is. When consumed, restores all health and removes minor stat status ailments. There are rumors of groves untouched by seasons, where spring is eternal and the leaves are lush. They are the locus of ley lines, the nervous system of Gaia and radiant sites of magic. This leaf is proof of such a place. Hmm. Okay. Wonder if we'll, if we'll actually visit that place. Now we can ride across here, jump automatically, land on that, on that switch, and we can now use that to jump back if we want. Although, I don't really know if there is a reason to. This is our first death idol here. Uh, that saves the game, of course. We can level up. I mean, we could if we had any shards. Not souls. There are souls in this game, but they're something different. Okay. Got a sort of switch or button. Which activates one third of this gate. And also, conveniently, makes those platforms appear. Okay. Also roll, of course. And also backstep if you're not holding in a direction. Jump up here. You can jump up ladders, although it doesn't speed up things a whole lot. There's a cute little creature up there. Not entirely sure what it is. Uh, hold left shoulder trigger to block. Right. Um, press B button. B button button? While moving to dodge roll. Um, right, yes. So it tells you how to, how to block or roll. That's good. And we got the first kind of not really a mini boss, but it does teach you, you know, the basics of combat. You can actually just walk right through it. There, it buffed itself, I guess. I mean, this is really basic, especially with a ranged weapon like this. Actually, that makes things almost a little bit too easy. Yeah, he never had a chance. Twenty-two shards, so we can already level up if we wanted. Oh, also high rail. Do you have a death wish? How did you get here? Also, um, Death Wish? No. Don't think I can die, actually. Eluding death gives you a god complex, I see. Did I say that? If you intend to squander your life, go right on ahead. I'm sure your men are eager to see you. I mean, again, I, I can't really die and join them, so... But should you think twice, take one of these. They're restorative plumes. Restorative plumes. Use okay. it to ensure your return to Vados. Consider it the last kindness I offer you. Yeah, I mean, who exactly are you? What's, what's, the the, the nature of our relationship? Why are you helping me? Why are you being so condescending at the same time? Hm. Not sure burning me alive is a kindness. Compared to what lies ahead, I assure you it is. Okay, so a feather gained. In fact, three feathers or three charges of the feather. So that's, as I said before, basically our our Estus Flask, or, you know, our healing item that will have its charges restored uh, whenever we rest. However, there is a bit of a twist to it, which I find really intriguing. Uh, right shoulder button to use the, the item, right, like so. Resting at Death Idols regenerates and uses feathers. Uh, what? Regenerates used feathers. Yes, that makes more sense. Uh, now we can toggle our used items here, and if I were to do this, cancel contract. Are you sure you want to cancel that contract? Next time you Think die, you'll die for good. about what you want. Once that contract is revoked, there is nothing I can do for you. Yeah. I mean, the game is fair that in that it gives you a really, really uh, non-subtle warning about this. Your demise will be permanent. So the first time you try to use it, it actually stops you halfway through. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That see seems very, very foolish. Um, it's just unequipped. Um, I don't think I need to hotkey any of these items. Let's rest here. And, yeah, I'll show you the, the great uh, or very interesting mechanic here. So you can actually choose to use some of your... to give up some of your um, plumes and to get a damage bo uh, damage bonus. So, for example, I could, um, you know, hold back two of my plume incre uh, plume charges to get 20% damage increase. And, you know, that way I will only have one healing item, but I will deal 20% more damage, and I kind of like the idea of that. 
maybe maybe stupid, but you know. I'm also going to. I guess I'm gonna increase my int to ten first. I really don't know what good builds are, of course, um, or what stats are actually worth it. But dealing more damage seems like a good idea, and you know, being prepared for potentially finding better magic spells at some point. Right. Uh, actually, yeah, this enemy here. <laughs> um, this enemy here is actually only pretending to be dead, or I don't know, maybe he was sleeping. Well, blocking, press secondary weapon button to kick, right. So you can actually uh, attack uh, for a shield flash, or potentially, maybe that's that's uh, like a parry, but you can also kick. So that's pretty cool. So you can do something like this, bait out his attack. The kick is super short range, oh god, okay. Um, so you have to be right in front of him, and then he'll be vulnerable. Nice. Uh, actually, which way do I want to go? I think... Hmm. Yeah, I want to go this way first. Right, right, right. Okay, so there's an item up there. Um, I cannot quite make it up here. Not even with the double jump, because it really only gives you more uh, horizontal movement, not vertical. Okay, there's that guy over there. Yeah, he was a bit of a pain with the, with the assassin, but uh, actually not a big deal here at all. Well, these guys, man, it's... I gotta say, having an unlimited range attack like this seems pretty spammable. Um, seems pretty overpowered, but I'm sure they'll... I'm sure it will all balance out. Attack while in the air for a dodge roll. Exactly. Okay, so you can actually jump through here. It's pretty tight. Uh, Zealot's cape. And you can do this. And grab the wooden turns. You can't make this jump normally, but you can with the... It's a little trick that the game doesn't actually tell you about. Well, maybe it will later, but definitely not by this time. Uh, wooden charge, I mean... I guess... Well, you, you move faster while blocking, but I'm really not blocking a lot. So I'd rather have a stronger shield for when I actually do need one. Right, and we actually find a better cape already. So, yeah. Even though apparently a conscript's cape is something that would make one proud... Uh, we immediately replace it by this. A zealot's cape. A valuable cape adorned with a bear and a stitched inscription that reads The Grey's light protect me. For all the good that did him, the Grey was admired by many, but alas, no one can save everyone. Hmm. Okay. More lore that we can't really close quite yet. Oh. Oh! <laughs> well, jump right into that one. Oh. Okay. I'm seeing certain... Weaknesses to this character, maybe. Wow, okay. That's not great. Let's not die here. That would be really silly. Oh. Okay. Forgot to re equip my feather. Um. Okay. Yeah, definitely need to get used to this, to these attacks first. Um, Panic Greaves. Uh, yes? Oh, yeah, we, obviously we don't have any boots yet, so another uh, 4 Vitality. Nice, nice. More hit points. Okay, we have a little bit of platforming here. Okay, that guy up there is not really going to be a problem at all. Get wrecked. Uh, well, we'll grab this. Oh, yeah, Fragile Courage. Okay. Um, oh, also... Hold on. Oh, no, never mind. We we did start with the Rustic Charm. Ha! Wow. I was... I actually, the first time around, I actually decided to, to go with the Aura, right? And and then when I restarted, I just absentmindedly went with the Rustic Charm. Okay, that's... I mean, that's okay. I knew that we were going to find a, a couple of different Auras in the first stage, so... Uh, I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, increases Vitality by 15, but destroyed if killed. I mean, it's, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off, but I guess the only time it really makes sense uh, to, to equip that is early on, right? It's going to make you a lot more survivable. I mean, look at that health bar. It's like twice as long as it was before. <laughs> so... Can you make this? Oh yeah, easily. Wow. You have a lot of horizontal movement. It's awesome. Okay. So yeah, we have a lot of hit points, so we are quite survivable. 
Of course, I'd, I also did give up on um, potential healing. So, there's that. Uh, let's see here. Haste? Uh, no, I, d I said that I wanted to go with 10 int first. I wonder if endurance or haste is going to be better in the long run. I'm sure there are theory crafters. Actually, you do see stats increasing. So, yeah. Increasing this actually also increases your damage. Interesting. Also, I have a strong su um, suspicion that any stat will increase your health. Yeah. But this, for example, only increases strength damage scaling. And this only increases uh, finesse damage scaling, which in this case does affect our our um, you know, what's the word? Weapon 2 damage, or bow damage. Vitality only increases health, but by 10 points, okay. Also healing effectiveness by 2%. Um, yeah, endurance does increase everything, interestingly. 1% for all scalings. 2 health. 2 stamina. And haste increases... Uh, health. Not stamina, but... Cooldown reduction, stamina regen, and also damage by one. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Let's go with it first, and then I guess we'll see. Uh, yes, sleep, please. Um, uh oh. Ah, yes, okay. <laughs> For a second there, I didn't remember what was gonna happen here. Really just a little bit of a of a kill room. Very basic. Yeah, get another one of those. Ah yes, and this is where we get our ability unlocked. And we Ooh hoo hoo, okay. Thankfully, we have a ton of hit points. Oh, what? Interesting. Oh god, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing great here. This is really not hard. Oh, okay, now I get it. Okay, okay. You actually activate that flame and then you, you shoot it. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so that that um, that purple aura apparently can only be broken, or the purple shield that the enemy had, can only be broken with uh, an ability. And uh, yeah, I was just confused because with the assassin it was just an extra attack that you would um, activate. As you can see there, uh, down in the bottom left, it says uh, Y button 20... 20. And in this case, it's 20 soul energy. That's our purple bar below the stamina bar in the top left. So yeah, that takes 20, 20 points, which will build up from um, just attacking and also apparently uh, using the healing item because we're a wizard. Right. That's also. Oops. <laughs> There's the second switch. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, um, the difference, of course, here being that. Uh, this ability activates a fireball that we will then fling at the enemy as we uh, use our next normal attack. So that is what I wasn't uh, prepared for. That's pretty cool, I guess. And it seems to activate pretty quickly, too. Um, you can level up, right? Yeah. Uh, I like the idea of having haste. It also just increases so many stats all at once. I like having better, um... Well, I'm not sure if... I guess, I guess actually ability cast speed, yeah. Cooldown reduction. Oh, that's what it means. Cast speed. They say cast speed, but I think they probably mean just cooldown reduction, which is okay. Um... But, you know, also stamina regen sounds good. I guess ultimately everything except strength and finesse in, in this character's case will be useful to some extent. There also doesn't seem to be any fall damage, which is nice. Oh, wait. Why? Oh, what? Stamina? Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't choke. Hmm. Okay. It's a bit tricky to hit enemies in certain... Situations. Okay, let's heal. Let's not risk breaking our aura this early on. That would be really unfortunate. Um, yeah, hitting enemies with spells can actually be a, a little bit 
a little bit tricky. So that's definitely a detriment. Uh, with uh, using a ranged attack like this as your primary attack. So uh, definitely, that definitely was much less of a problem, as in no problem at all, with uh, my melee assassin. Correct. Yeah, you also do see a little stamina bar underneath the enemy health bar, and you can break that even when the blocking. Hello, Elvin Halbert. Um, three finesse and three strength. I can almost use that, I think. Yeah, almost. Huh, interesting. What's it say there? Uh... Okay, the text is kind of messed up, unfortunately. Wait, I think it actually displays... Uh, yeah, it displays our primary weapon uh, description there on top of the new weapon. That's... Hmm. I wonder why that happened. Oh, what? Yeah. It only happens there, too. How weird. Okay, common heavy two-handed weapon with long reach. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's pretty basic, so it's not gonna say anything super important. Oh, I was not expecting to not kill that guy. Okay. Well, maybe I'm not as overpowered as I thought I might be. Can level up again. Um, maybe I should go with some vitality. Maybe. Or maybe I should go with more... I guess I'm going to alternate between... Or go back and forth between Vitality, Endurance, and Haste. Well, in Intelligence, obviously. So, yeah. I really don't know what to really prioritize yet. Also, um, we can now go up here. We could have gone up here before. Is this not many? It is. Huh. Okay. Uh, however, there's... First of all, enemies respawn. I technically knew that, but details. Uh, let's let's rest. Nice, nice. Oh, also, I guess I. Whoa! What? How does that, that work? Hmm. I guess I still don't fully understand how that ability works, and you can't actually. Look at it here. You set those at the uh, uh, death idol. Is that what it's called? Uh, abilities. Yeah. So let's actually take a look at it. Essence of fire. One second cooldown. Okay. So basically, cooldown reduction does not matter for that one at all. Um, create a floating orb, uh, flo floating fire orb. Attacking with the tome weapon causes all floating elemental orbs to combine to create a unique attack. Oh. Okay. That's cool. So I guess we'll unlock. Somehow, I don't know how to unlock things yet, but there is definitely room for plenty of abilities that you can then freely combine. That's cool. Um, okay. I wonder if you can... I, I guess I should try that sometime, uh, actually, if I can actually activate more than one fire orb. The thing is, I, I think... I thought I tried activating it before, and it didn't even it didn't seem to do anything. Right. The thing is, obviously, since... Well, there it worked, as expected. So I, I don't know what I did differently there. Um, definitely activate it just as it should. So obviously I'll have to have uh, enough... Yeah, see, this is a bit of a secret here. Jumped on here and you don't actually die. Um, in fact, I, I got lucky and landed on this thing's back immediately. So yeah, anyway, um, you have to have more than... Or you, you have to have enough uh, soul energy, obviously, to cast multiple fireballs uh, all at once, or one after the other, because you're, you won't be able to attack and build up more soul energy while you already have one active. So yeah, anyway. Okay. Uh, Tome on the Owl King. The Owl King, royal only in name, has no subjects of its own to speak of. Okay, this actually fades relatively quickly. But yeah, that's the first instance of a journal of an immortal, apparently. One immortal tome. Deal 5% more damage against the boss. The boss. I, I'm assuming there is a boss called Owl King. And that is not the boss I fought on, in this first area. So 
Maybe that was just a sub-boss, a mini-boss, and I didn't even complete this first area. It's very possible. I certainly did not encounter anything that looked or that looked like an Alking or was called an Alking. Uh, so, Royal, only in name, has no subject of its own to speak of. But the hearts of men are just as easily provoked by titles. Um, true, I guess. Oh, interesting. You can, oh. Well, you can't really climb out there. Oh, there's an item here. Sneaky, sneaky. Crow plume. Also, even more sneaky. This. And, um... This here... Yeah. That's, um... Basically... A, um... An optional boss. I mean, it's not a proper boss fight. You can actually escape. Just leave this room at any point. Thankfully. But it's... Like, this thing is super tough. Obviously... It might be very doable with a ranged character like this. But I had so much trouble fighting this guy with my assassin. Oh god. Yeah, he deals a ton of damage too. Oh, and he does that. He heals completely. Unless you can snap him out of it. I don't really know, oh god, what it takes exactly. But yeah, obviously him just completely refilling on you. <laughs> not a great, not great news. Oh god, oh god. Uh... I don't want to die here, either, so... Oh god. Oh god. I'm out of here. Yeah, that's, um... As you, as you may have seen, that uh, my my assassin was level 11. And that's basically from just running over running uh, over this way. Oh, I forgot about this little guy. Oh god, no! I didn't mean to attack you! Crap, I completely forgot about you. Um, however, that being said... Damn it. Oh no. What a failure. So that little thing up there uh, is basically the equivalent of, an, of a crystal lizard that drops... I think it dropped upgrade materials as well, so it's basically a crystal lizard. And this guy actually appeared here. Yeah, I completely forgot about him. God damn it. He was a, a merchant, but he actually didn't sell anything good. And in fact, uh, on my other character, uh, after I looked through his, his uh, inventory of really bad items, like he was selling a pebble... Uh, where the description said that only he, I forget his name, uh, claims that it's it's something super useful, but it seems like a like a perfectly regular pebble, piece of rubble, and I don't know other useless junk like that. Nothing of it. Not none of that seemed particularly good. Uh, he he sold like a helmet for 666 shards that um, gave some okay stats. I guess it increased strength and finesse. I think. Um, but also, like, uh, drains your health while equipped, or something like that. So, yeah, uh, all of his stuff was either completely useless, or had heavy, like, drawbacks to it, to them. And, in fact, when I left the dialogue without buying anything, he attacked me on my other game, and I ended up killing him anyway. So, yeah, uh, it's unfortunate that I forgot about him, and that I attacked him twice, which apparently was enough to, to make him aggressive. Usually you have, like, you can actually deal a good amount of damage to an NPC before they uh, start attacking you back. It's nice that the game gives you that kind of leeway. Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, I can. Light Greaves, hello. Also, dangling corpse. Hmm. Uh, hold on. Oh, sunstone. Yeah, I guess I got that as a drop. Radiant stone that illuminates dark areas can be thrown. These stones absorb natural sunlight, exuding a pleasant warmth and light when night falls. The streets of Vados and many more cities use them on a daily basis. On, an, on a ni nightly basis, I would assume. Uh, light greaves give strength and finesse. Yeah, I mean, I need neither of those, so... Fatality it is. Thank you very much. Okay, the, uh, the guy does not come back. Whoa, okay, that's an explosion. Good to know. Uh, and here we get five soul stones. Awesome. Good thing that little thing respawns too. You can make it over here, but that's not actually a place you can go. Okay, well. Oh, we actually got a good amount of soul energy here. Uh, not soul energy, shards. 
Um, level up. Should I go? I don't know. Maybe some endurance. Maybe a little bit of vitality. Can't hurt. Although, I don't know. For now, thanks to the, the aura, we have so much vitality. Let's go with more endurance, actually. Nice charge attack. I wonder why that guy didn't even wake up the first time around. Okay, Pentacles are what we're using, that's right. That's a fun little guy. Okay, they explode. And they poison you, apparently. Or, I don't know, am I poisoned? Am I losing health? I don't think I am. Oh, I almost had enough for three fireballs there. Oh no, I forgot that you're exploding. Okay. I think it's a good amount of damage, actually. Okay. It's gonna turn around. Oh. <laughs> well, fail. Um, yeah, so the archer turned around uh, as I rolled past him. So that's not how you evade those. You actually do have time. Okay, here we have fi uh, uh, fire. A, a dragon, that's the word. <laughs> A fire-breathing dragon. Actually, let's, let's wait, because obviously he'll return. Or maybe it's a phoenix, actually. Not so much a dragon, now that I actually look at it. So there's another little safe spot here. What are these items? Another sunstone and this abyssal eye. An occult spell that summons a third eye. Wicked tales exist of cultists who gouge out their third, their, their eyes, throwing them to the fire in hope in hopes that their sacrifice will grant them unified vision with their god. What if their god is blind? Or, you know, what if there is no such thing as a god and they just gouged their eye out for... Oh god. Oh god. The attack... Oh god. <laughs> so bad. Um... Ha, <laughs> nice. I didn't plan it that way, but I guess... The thing getting killed by fire works. Um... Works out for me. Yeah, that wasn't great, but uh, it somehow worked. What's that? I need to pay attention. Uh, Dragonberry. Removes poison. Okay, good to know. So yeah, I, I think previously I was not actually poisoned because I didn't take any damage, but it must be working again, exactly like in the Souls games, where you have a, a little debuff bar that will actually have to get filled completely before you are um, affected with that debuff. We have force health. Hello, that looks good. Hotel plus one. Standard issue infantry barbute been personalized with some additional padding and streaks of paint. I mean, it's only one extra vitality, but it's already more useful than this uh, rusty charm. I mean, I don't know. There might be some kind of benefit to it. I don't know. For all I know, there might be a, a mechanic similar to trading items with the, with the birds in the Souls games. Maybe you can get something good for this. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't seem to do anything for me while equipped. Other than, you know, for lore reasons, maybe, or role-playing reasons. But seriously, I'm a bit more interested in Cold Heart stats right now. Oh, right. I forgot about this guy. Why was I completely out of stamina? It doesn't really matter why. Okay, I got him. If only barely. Yeah, I really need to manage my stamina better. One of these. Nice. Yeah, he's really not that hard. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything up here. Nope. But I know, I do happen to know that you know, there's a little niche here that you can miss, but you can climb all the way back up and get this. So it's not a huge deal. Let's see here. Covenant Shield. B toughness versus C toughness. Oh, but it requires 8 strength. Okay. A sturdy shield emblazoned with a phoenix. The Covenant of Flame are slavers of immortals. Using them as infinite energy for manual labor. Wow, okay. Slavers of immortals. So immortals are a thing in this world. People who just don't die? So you can abuse that fact to, to make them work? As manual labor. Wow. Huh. They are a nation without a name. 
uh, drawing in con converts and disciples from all walks of life. For many, the Covenant is a second chance at new life. Hmm. Slavers of Immortals. I mean, I don't know if Immortals are generally despised or revered in this world. Oh, also, Feather Upgrade, so we get another use out of our Feather. Or, we can actually increase our damage to 130% and still retain one healing item. I keep doing this, we just back out of it. Um, let's improve endurance more. Okay, got something fiery going on here. Also, we have we got this weird chest. At first, I thought it might be some kind of mimic, but apparently, it's not. It never attacked me back on my on my assassin anyway. Um, okay, let's see. Two. Three. What? Wait, what? What happened there? Hold on. Actually, we can use this to do some experimentation. One. Two. Oh, okay. And third. Activating the third just immediately explodes, but not for a ton of damage, honestly. Yeah, that deals a ton more damage. And that thing just dies and gives you. Or of blood. I don't know if it also gave me um, any shards. I don't think it did. Okay, it's just a matter of taking your time, climbing up, and we get the second uh, All King tome. More slaves and monarchs. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna go here and read it. More slaves and monarchs. These all beasts appeared in droves, seemingly drawn to Amulvaro's observatory. Yet the sorcerer neglects them. Okay, Amuvaro's Observatory. No idea where that's it, that is, but presumably Amuvaro is the sorcerer it talks about. All beasts, all king. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously we don't know any about any of those things, but we do deal 10% more damage against that boss now, which is cool. Okay, there's nothing hidden here. Want to make it through here? Although honestly, I could probably just drop down. Even if I do take some damage, it doesn't matter. Oh, hello there. Yep, forgot about that one. Um, well, I'm gonna heal. Even though I didn't lose a lot of health at all. Right. Uh, you can drop through platforms, and in this case you have to. Right, we got these explody little guys, which are a pain to actually hit with the, with the wizard. Okay. Crystal bomb? And something else? No, actually, two crystal bombs? Okay. Also, we found this aura of blood. Combo finishers heal for 5% when above 70% health. A, vampir a vampiric sprite siphons the blood spilled and shares a portion of its restorative properties. Well, I mean, that sounds good. I'm definitely going to equip that as soon as my um, fragile aura here breaks, because that is going to happen eventually. Um, yeah, combo finishers, I, I assume that's just this free uh, fireball attack here. What is this? What? What? What did I pick up? Why doesn't it... Okay, that's one thing I'd, I'm not a huge fan of. I wish it actually displayed somewhere a little lingering text uh, on, you know, what item you just recently picked up. I thought I was going to read, but... Okay, yeah. Change equip items. I mean, for now, I don't have any, any items equipped, so that's good. I did lose some health, though, and yeah, there's this obviously something going on here. Them. Hmm, which one? That statue what in the background? An explanation for another time. Seems we have straggler. Um, you're not referring to me, right? Don't, don't, ju just don't worry about me. Don't say my enemy. Uh oh. I trust you won't disappoint. For your sake. I only help. Huh? You're a survivor, are you not? Um, yes. It is not too late. Return from whence you came. I, I would. Or not. There is no one left to return to. You're not the only orphan of war. But perhaps you'll be the last. That would be nice. Know that I do this to put an end to tragedies like yours. 
Um, do what exactly? Um, I don't really see how my sacrifice is necessary for anything or anyone. Activate this. Oh, bad timing. Didn't my attack not go off? Uh-oh. No! No! Mistimed. Uh, actually heal. Oh, yo! You know what? Uh-oh. You know what? Unimpaired. Uh, and I want to get killed here. For a specific reason. I want to... It's partly an experiment. You'll see. You'll see as soon as I actually win this fight. Which, you know, shouldn't be that hard. Yep, first death, that's okay. Did... did I die again? Am I immortal? I suppose it was too much for me to expect you to read the fine print. You exist in a state of limbo. Neither truly dead nor truly alive. Hmm. But more truly alive than truly dead. Death, as you mortals know it, is merely one facet of its infinite complexities. Okay, but for all intents and purposes, I'm not going to stop existing, right? So basically I'll stay alive. Make no mistake, you are in an unnatural state of flux. And it will take its toll on you. Hmm. I wonder if that's just empty talk, or if there's actually some kind of negative effect to dying multiple times. I mean, it's gonna happen, so... whatever. Yeah. Thankfully you can just equip this if it looks like you're going to die. Like I just did, so you don't necessarily lose out on it. It's very generous that the game actually allows you to, you know, change your equipment in the middle of the game. Also, we're pretty close to leveling up. So yeah, actually, one difference uh, between this and the Souls games uh, and most Souls-likes, is that you actually don't le uh, lose your currency upon death, but you do drop your healing items. Uh, yeah. So our healing plume is where we died, but we do still have our shards, so I can do something like this. Just, even though it's not particularly efficient, but I can just reset a couple of times and level up one more time. For example, I could then go ahead and... Oh, eight shards? Oh, uh, because I guess technically the yeah, the previous shard amount had not faded yet. It actually lingers for quite a while. Uh, is that enough? It is. We need 90. So I can level up and let's increase int so we can deal a bit more damage. It's probably hardly going to make a difference this early on. But it might. Is this guy actually going to burst out of there? Yep, totally is. Oh, these things. Let's just not deal with them at all. Grab our feather. I sympathize with your plight. Is this another test? Oh, interesting. Sorry for skipping that first line. It's nice you get some some extra dialogue when you die to a boss. Huh. Just go home for both our sakes. I actually did defeat this boss on my first attempt. Um on my assassin character, so I did not get to see this at all. Go home. Well, I mean, I could, but I guess I'm gonna stubbornly push forward. Ouch. Right the reach there. Okay, let's regain some stamina. Activate this. Dodge an attack. Okay. Okay. Oh, she's burning! I didn't realize that before. Our attack actually sets her on fire. Oh god, I'm also panic rolling a lot here. I'm sorry. You and she died from the fire dot. Um, I mean, probably? Okay. Uh, talent point. Gained a talent point. And the game actually forces me to spend that right now, but there is only one thing to spend it on. Wizard's Might. Using a healing phoenix feather will give 10 soul energy. Right. So, yeah, obviously, okay, this is obviously also wizard specific. I didn't even... Acknowledge that before, but yes. Um, right. So that... I guess only now do we actually gain that extra... Huh? 
uh, X to confirm. But do we do we get that uh, wizard ability to gain extra soul energy for using the Phoenix, Phoenix Feather? Although honestly, I will say that uh, ten extra soul energy for using the limited use healing item does not seem that amazing compared to the huge amount of soul energy you get from from attacking. But I guess it does give you a way to gain more soul energy, for example, uh, when you already have an elemental orb active, to maybe uh, get enough soul energy to activate a second one, because obviously you, you can't attack to do that. As I said previously. Okay, yeah, those things are a little bit annoying because you'll have to use your two hit combo to even hit those, but that's okay. Now, here's the final switch, and Unless I'm mistaken, we might get an extra reward here. Uh, actually, oh, right, there's a platform. It's kind of easy to miss. Let's see here. Open chest, yes, okay. So, um, this, and it's, it's kind of weird. So, what happened is this. Uh, I beat this boss on my first attempt with my assassin, and I did not heal. Because I did the same thing I did here, I only had one healing item, and I just didn't need it. Um, I did a way better do uh, better job dodging than I did here. Um, which is not very hard. Uh, since I performed very poorly. But anyway, um, so I... And, and then I... But I, I was li at, like, half health after that fight. So I used a healing item after the fight. And then I came up here, and it said... Um, open Only opens when no healing feather has been used, or something to that extent. To that, to that effect. And, you know, I said, ah, oh, damn it, if only I had, hadn't used that stupid healing feather after the fight was already over. Uh, I could have opened this. But then, I, what I did was, I just, I don't know, did I just exit the game and, and reload? Just because I, I wasn't entirely sure if the game would autosave, autosave everything. Turns out, yes, it did. The boss was still dead. But it, when I went up here, it actually let me open it. So I guess it was only, it was actually just a, a glitch or something. And uh, I was obviously still entitled to this chest because I did not heal during the fight. And I did not, didn't do that here either in my winning attempt. And that gives you a new healing feather. And if I understand this correctly, and I might not be understanding this correctly, but I think this is just an alternate healing feather that will share the same amount of charges and everything, but uh, I think it looks to be just outright better. Um, now, what I don't fully understand is the Lucent Plume, the Standard Plume, says 180 heal, 1.5 second cast time. Uh, the Quicken Plume says 255 heal, but in the description it says restores 170 health, which would be a little bit less than the Lucent Plume. So, yeah, I really don't know if that's just a, an error in the tooltip, if they adjusted it and, f and forgot to, to actually change the, the tooltip to reflect that change. Uh, but even if it's it heals slightly less, it does cast faster, and I guess that sounds good. Um, a plume from the legendary phoenix unleashing its natural radiance has restorative properties. Many still believe the secret of, to immortality lies with the phoenix. Now such a promise seems negligible, because now there are many more immortals. I don't know if there are enough immortals. Uh, to make it viable to, to exploit them as labor slaves, I guess there must be quite a few of them. And some of this seems to imply that at one point immortals used to be something rare, as you would expect, I guess, but they might not be anymore, because maybe maybe more people are in a similar situation as uh, I am. Uh, what's this? What's our name? Sol Solus or something? Should probably be att paying attention to that kind of thing, but... Uh, also, there are platforms here. Okay, oh, wow, okay. You can't see them, so... Uh, actually, you can, I think. You can look around a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, very limited. Oh, actually, just enough to see the platform. Okay, never mind. And then you can do this, and do this, and somehow fail to hold on to the ladder. What? Not sure what happened there, honestly. Let's try that again. Okay, the platform is underneath that tree. Okay. Uh, actually, well... Not necessarily. Okay, there we go. Not sure what happened there. Marksman Aura. Right, right. Okay, that's not really interesting for me, but it, it is interesting. 
Uh, just not for this character. Rolling costs 20% more stamina, but arrows deal 20% more damage. So that's definitely a... That's like a no-brainer for any archer character. Um, that being said, I'm not sure how viable a pure archer is. Because obviously uh, arrows are in limited supply. Unless you get this talent here, soul feather... Soul arrows. When out of arrows you can continue shooting. Consume uh, five, show, uh, show, 5 soul energy per soul arrow. So... To an extent, you can sustain your arrow shooting uh, even without the consumable arrow items. So that's nice. Energy weapons require no soul energy uh, after using an ability. Hmm, energy weapons. Well, obviously, I've, I haven't really seen any energy weapons. Um, I haven't seen many of the things that are referred to by these talents, so I can't really fully, fully judge how good some of these are going to be, but, you know. I'll deal with that when I actually get more uh, ability points. And it seems like you're, you'll get more when defeating bosses, so... Yeah, while blocking, press primary weapon to parry enemies. All right. It's interesting that the game tells me that now. You know, not that it... I, I don't know. Maybe it would have been useful against the boss? Maybe not. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure... Well, it's possible that I'm... I missed something else, but um, I think I've now done everything I had done on my uh, on my assassin character that I played off camera. Oh, also, we did not actually get any sh any shards for defeating the boss. I only just now realized. Hmm. Or if we did, we didn't get a whole lot. Actually, we have 19 now, so we gained 16. That might have been eight per blob. We definitely didn't get anything for that boss. Interesting to know. Hmm. I'm I'm torn. I don't know if I wanna if I wanna try fighting that that optional boss enemy. He's definitely gonna be guarding something good, right? I mean, he better be. He's he's a pain to defeat. Pain to even fight. Also, yeah, Frail appears up there. Not really sure why. Uh, you can't talk to him, as far as I can tell. And the only way to... Well, you, you could take the long way around, or you can jump across here, hurting him in the process, but thankfully he's not gonna... You know... Be too upset about that. Well, anyway. I'll take another careful attempt at my friend that... Uh, that... I don't know, Dragon Knight guy. But I don't want to lose my, my aura item over there. Big guy. I don't know if the explosion is actually going to be very useful against this dude. Um, nope. Stamina was too low! Okay, well... His stamina regenerates too fast for me to break through his shield with attacks alone. Oh god, he's he has such long combos. I've definitely seen him combo up to four attacks in a row. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll return once I'm much, much stronger. I'm too worried about losing my aura for, you know, no real reason. And once that's gone, my chances at defeating that guy are gonna be much worse, so... Yeah. I'm gonna be wuss and give up for now. Obviously, he's meant as some kind of optional challenge, so there's that. And yeah, uh, this is as far as I have ever played. Uh, I have no idea what's past this gate, and I think I'm gonna actually end the first episode here. We are at a bit over an hour. Um, actually, a bit more over an hour, because I started the timer late, but, you know, that's okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, please leave me a comment, tell me what you think about this game. And about this let's play and um, I already messed up my outro so this is gonna be a bit of a mess but uh, that's okay um, yeah leave me a comment uh, hit the like button if you like this and I shall see you real soon bye bye